Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because this video is actually an update to the most popular blog post on my website that's been viewed millions of times, and it's all about zucchini noodles. Five years ago, I was diagnosed with celiac disease and had to go gluten-free overnight. And as I was learning a whole new way of eating and cooking, one of the things that I kept gravitating towards was zucchini noodles. Zucchini noodles, which are also known as zoodles, are not only a great gluten-free pasta alternative, but they're delicious and healthy. Zucchini is a hydrating, low-carb, nutrient-packed vegetable. So even if you're not gluten-free, it makes a lot of sense to get more zucchini into your diet. In today's video, I'm gonna show you five different ways that you can make zucchini noodles. There are lots of options, and I'll share some pros and cons of each. As you can imagine, after several years of making zucchini noodles, I definitely have my favorite method. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video and I'll tell you what that is. But for now, let's dive in. The first method I'm gonna show you is called the spiralizer. And specifically, I'm using the Paderno spiralizer. It's a little bit bigger than some of the other methods you'll see, but it's really easy to use and creates beautiful curls of zucchini noodles. This specific model comes with three blades, and I love how the blades that you're not using stash right below, which keeps everything handy. To make zucchini noodles with any of the methods you're gonna see, the first thing you'll need to do is slice the ends off your zucchini to create a flat surface. For the Paderno spiralizer, you simply center the zucchini on the core and push the gripper into the end. Then start turning. It really takes only a few seconds to spiralize the entire zucchini with very little effort, and you can see that you get these gorgeous noodles. When you're done, you're left with a narrow core that's really just the zucchini seeds, and you can dispose of this or chop it into your next salad. The next method is something you may already have in your kitchen drawer, which is a good old julienne peeler. To make zucchini noodles with the peeler, grip the bottom side of the zucchini firmly and run the peeler down the length of the zucchini. You'll do this several times and once you start to see the seeds in the middle, just flip it a quarter turn and start on the next side. The julienne peeler produces the thinnest, most delicate noodles and it's not exactly fast, but it is small and inexpensive. Next up, we have a mandolin slicer, which is another device you may already have. To make zucchini noodles with the mandolin, you'll wanna use the julienne slicing blade, and you can usually vary the thickness. Now, my big word of caution with a mandolin is that the blades are super sharp. So while it's easier to just use your hands and slide the zucchini up and down, I strongly caution against that and recommend that you use the included food gripper. It does slow things down a bit, but trust me, your fingers will thank you. The mandolin slice is very similar to the julienne peeler, though the noodles are just a bit thicker. All right, next we have KitchenAid's version of the spiralizer, which is an attachment to the stand mixer. It comes in a big storage box, and my version has six blades and a peeler. You'll attach this to the power hub on the front of the stand mixer, just as you would any other attachment, and then drop in your preferred blade. What makes this method unique is that it's automated, but one consideration is that it does have a fixed width. So if you have a large zucchini like I do, you'll have to cut the zucchini in half and then spiralize each half separately. To do that, you'll add a food holder into one end and then attach it to the spiralizer. Then slide the slicing blade up against the zucchini, turn on the mixer, and let it spiralize. As you can imagine, this is the most expensive option for making zucchini noodles, but again, if you leave your stand mixer on your counter and plan to spiralize a lot of veggies, this may be a great option for you. Lastly, we have a handheld spiralizer. This is a small, all-in-one contraption, and you can find dozens of these online, so there's really no particular brand. But this spiralizer essentially works like a pencil sharpener. Just place the zucchini in one end and twist. The handheld spiralizer is very inexpensive, but as you can see, it takes quite a bit of twisting to do one zucchini. If you're only one person, this may be an option for you, but if you plan to cook for more than one, just know that your wrist may get a little bit sore because mine sure did. When you get down toward the bottom of the zucchini, it does have a little gripper gadget to help you twist that last little bit. 
Because this method doesn't remove the core, you will have some softer noodles, which are the zucchini seeds. As you can see, there are several different ways of making zucchini noodles, so pick the method that works best for you. For me, my favorite method is using the Paderno Spiralizer. I find that it's fast and easy, produces consistently sized noodles, and I like all of the different blade options to keep my recipes interesting. But I'd love to hear your favorite way of making zucchini noodles. I'm also thinking of doing a whole nother video on all of the different vegetables that you can spiralize in addition to zucchini, so if you're interested in that, let me know. I hope you found today's video helpful, and if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. In the description box below, I will also link to the full blog post on zucchini noodles that includes additional tips, ways to cook them, and links to my favorite zucchini noodle recipes. All right, that's it for me today. I will see you in the next video.